What's up? Nice to see you, huh? Well, it looks like uh, your number change officially went through. What? Uh, why the switch to number four? Uh, I've been trying to do it last year, but they tried to they tried to take my money from me, and that's important. <laughs> that's a, that's important nowadays. But um, my dad, you know, my dad passed away like a year ago, and that was like a promise I made to him that I was gonna get back in my number, and you know, get back to you know, getting us the Super Bowl around here, stuff like that. That number means a lot to me. I started I started playing football because of my bigger brother, and he was number four, and he was like. The hero of my eyes when I seen him play football. So like I tried to carry the legacy on because he switched he switched sports and started playing basketball. So I kept the number going, passed it on to my little brother, and passed it on to my little cousins. And it's like a tradition in, in my family and a, a tradition back in Miami. How so, much? How much did they want for it? Like one point two million dollars or something like that. Yeah, you don't like it that you got me. You you yeah, have yeah. me. <laughs> I'll start a like a, like a, uh, a GoFund, go right? <laughs> 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 do you do you feel you look better at number four? Or you're faster, or psychologically, or mentally, I'm 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 better. Mentally, I'm better in that number. Um, overall, I think it's a better it's a better thing for my family and for everybody around here. You know, you're gonna see a, a version that you've never seen before. You're gonna see you're gonna see something special. And I come with hard work. And I just don't come with putting a number on. That come with you know putting the work in each and every day, trusting the process that we got going on around here. And just going to attack every day, you know, bringing that energy, you know, just being me, not being nothing else, but being number four. That's what they call me around here. If you didn't know that, they call me four around here. So you know, I'm back to it. Before the jersey switch? They, that's what they called me. So it was kind of like, uh, he won number 33, so call him chef. Nah, you can call me four, nah. But we back in it. Delvin, how much older is your brother than you? Uh, my oldest brother? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, older than me. Yeah. Uh, Delvin, what's um, just sort of your sense? I, I know it's only day two or whatever, mm -hmm. but just for uh, what Kevin O'Connell wants to do in, in terms of offensively and, and using you. Obviously, you're coming from the last few years of being the, the real centerpiece of the offense. Yeah, KO, um, we just been kind of easing into stuff. You know, we're not rushing into things. Um, loving the energy in the, in the building, um, loving all the coaches, but his message is about all us being on one page and going to attack this thing at one. You know, trusting the process. Um, you know, around here is all about we. It's all about us. It's all about how we trust the, the trust the process and get things done. And I think he's been doing a great job of s sending that message to the team. You know, every day he come in with a message, and it's something that you want to hear. It's something that you want to open your eyes to and look up and be like, yeah, that's a great message. And it stick to my head like each and every day. So I'm just happy we got KO, and you know, it should be something special going on, Ryan. You can just feel it in the building. It's a it's a it's a good energy, Ryan. As you guys, as players, have an opportunity to kind of reset the culture with a new coach, I mean, what, what are kind of some of your goals as players to improve something that was uh, kind of an issue last year? Um, it's not proven. It's just about it's about showing him, you know, you got the right guys in the building. You know, just needed a little more, a little more push from, you know, from from the coaches. So, you know, having KO, having him, having him push us, you know, having him have that mindset of, of going in attack mode and each and every each and every day. You know, I love our locker room, and that's the message he's been preaching since he got here. You know, we love the locker room, and we just got to go out there and, and then put the pieces together. Like I said, the process is going to be everything. You know, we just can't go out there and win games because we got a new coach. We got to go, go put the hard work in and put our, our hard hat on and go to work. Do you think the fact that he's closer in age to a lot of you guys helps him connect? <laughs> yeah, it, it probably do. You know, with certain players, you know, with me, with me, it, I like being coached hard. I like being. You know, chewed out, whatever you want to say, you can say it to me. Like, I, I like being coached like that. And, you know, KO is like one of those cool, smooth guys, like, you know, can relate to his players. And, you know, you got younger guys that come in that need that type of relationship with coaches to, to get them over the hump to be the player they need to be. So I think it's good for us. And, you know, the next step for all of us is to go win, and we got to go do it. Do you give a lot of input, Delvin, to coaches in terms of what you, you know, as your veteran, what you see in this locker room or what you think the Vikings culture should be about? Do you, do you tell them as well what you believe? Yeah, um, I've been around long enough. Um, you know, coach got his leadership group that he leaned on, that he leaned on and I'm part of it. And, you know, he tell us it's open, it's open door policy, you know, whatever we need, whatever, how we feel, you know, just come talk to him, man. 
know, that that kind of that's kind of like a security blanket for like a player. You know, you could go talk to your coaches. You could go up there and just the door's wide open for you. And you know, I appreciate him for 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 telling us that. And you know, if I if I got something how I feel, I'm gonna go up there because I feel comfortable going up there. Do you earn that though because you put numbers up, or is that something that a rookie can feel too? I think as a rookie, you kind of take that backseat of like, all right, the older guys is going to do what they do. You, know, you kind of earn your stripes, and that's how the league is. You earn your stripes by doing things the right way, and you know, I just try to do things the right way, Ryan. Dalvin, you've become used to changing of the guard when it comes to offensive coordinators and, and, and new systems and things like that. Is it easier, so to speak, when your head coach is also offensive minded or is it just easier because you've had the experience in the past of this is what we got to do? It's both for me, like getting used to the change. Like I don't have change every year as far as in my in my in my office in the room, as far as coordinators and speaking the language they speak and getting on the same terms as they on. But having that offensive coordinator as a head coach, you know, we kind of speak the same language. I kind of feel where you're coming from. You feel where I'm coming from. And, you know, I feel how you're attacking him and things like that. And, you know, seeing the game from his perspective and how he see it, you know, just from hearing him talk for the last two days, is his mind is big. So I'm just trying to pick his brain and learn as much as I can. Hey, Delvin, what do you think on the other side of the ball about some of the defensive players that the Vikings have brought in? Obviously, a couple of former Packers and, and Jordan Hicks, I guess. Yeah. Just what do you think about them, and what are you looking forward to about practicing against those guys? Yeah, I'm glad we got 5-5 five, five from the Packers. Um, he was a problem. Teaming him up with the nail is going to be something special. Um, getting Jordan Hicks playing against him in Arizona, special player. Um, I loved him when we played against him. Um, we get we got Harrison down there. Um, some of those players gonna they gonna they're gonna help us right away. And we need those players to know and come in and, and, and the coaches right now is about winning. And I think they bring that to the table right away. So just helping those guys get accumulated to what's going on in Minnesota. And I'm here for them and you none know, of my teammates not, so we just gotta go attack this thing. Yeah, when you weren't you weren't shy on uh, TMZ asked you about the Super Bowl and predicting the Super Bowl. Yep. Is that just what you know guys should say or they do say, or do you see something really makes you believe that. I've been feeling like that about this team, just missing a few things. And I think, you know, KO came in and addressed it right away. Um, you know, bringing in Z, I'm bringing in a couple of defensive backs. We still got some things, you know, we need to fill in, but bringing in some more offensive alignment so we can have depth. Just just having those right pieces to go win. Um, I think we right there at the door. So my answer is still confident. Yeah, we could go win the Super Bowl with this team we got. And like I said, it's just not about me reaching the sand. We just got to go put the hard work in. Delvin, have you changed the way that you trained in the off seasons over the years? And, and how is it different now? Yeah, right now I've just been working on great position and speed work, agility work. You know, just trying to get that, that extra step on people. You know, um, you know last year was kind of like an up and down year for me. You know, I was, I was kind of dinged up a little bit. Got hurt a few games. Um, but this year, just put my body in positions this off season to where uh, it's football moves more than just like training, more than just like cardio and stuff like that. No, I actually was working on football stuff all off season this this year, getting stronger, getting bigger, and I feel like you know coming back, you know, doing the stuff that we've been doing has kind of helped me, you know, get to where I'm at right now. Is playing in all 17 games a goal? Do you, do you ever... Every year, yeah. it's it's a thing. You know, things happen in this league, but. You know, being injured and being and being hurt is two different things. You know, like it's 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 two different things. You can kind of play through a little pain. That's that's a lot of things. But being injured is 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 different. So like, you know, just trying to just trying to lim limit those things and and be be available for my team because you know in NFL it's all about availability. So I'm just trying to be available. How much have you talked to your younger brother about like the draft process? How much has he kind of leaned on you? Every day, I talk to him every day. I stayed with him until I came back. Uh, we stayed, we've been standing together through the whole process. So just, just trying to drop some dimes on him, just trying to drop whatever I can on him, putting him in some situations, make him think. Um, in workouts, I push him, he pushed me, and that's, that's 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 probably the best thing, you know, having your little brother at your workouts and. He's not gonna beat me, so it's like that's the mindset that I have when I'm working. It's the same thing I, that he have with me, so you know it was good for him to be out there pushing me, and I push him. You know we in front of the pack, we leading, and it's just like that's the mindset you gotta have. You know going into your first year, and I try to, I try to give him as much information as I can. You know, 
because my first shot got hurt. So I had to deal with a lot of things. So just giving him that that side of what I went through and the good side of what I was going through. So hand in hand, I could give him both, and I'm just glad I'm there for him. Would you want him in the NFC North so you can see him or not want him so you guys aren't playing him? We talk about this. So it's like if you do end up in the NFC North, you got to face us. So it's like I'm going to rush you or you're going to rush me you know, like that. But it's, it's like funny games with us. Um, he just wanted the opportunity um, to get in the NFL and prove everybody. You know, he could be a running back. He could be a special player. He could be a weapon. And I'm just happy for him. I'm happy to be his big brother. Um, I'm happy to be going through the process with him to help him through it. Great kid. And I just want to see him be successful. You have to dig how to handle that stuff? He's got that going on. No, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I got it. I, 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 you know, a, brother, a big brother love is, is, is different for his little brother, and especially, like, how close me and my little brother is. So, you know, I'm going to give him everything he needs to be, be ready for this NFL. If he comes here, will you sell him number four? <laughs> he got to put a two in front of his number. <laughs> he got to put a 24 on his number. It's time for me to put on number four. <laughs> Why did, you, why did your brother pick four? I, I really never asked him. Um, and he wore, it, he wore it for a few years. I don't know. And you know, he's the reason I started playing football. So you know, I seen him with that number, making plays. I said, that's the number I'm going to wear for the rest of my life. And on the, on the fourth year I got here, I couldn't. So now it's my time, and it's, it's here now. What kind of player was he? He was an all-around player. He actually was a quarterback. Um, so it's, it was different. but. Just seeing how hard he worked and how hard he was committed to the game, and he loved just playing football, and I loved being around him. So the game just adapted to me, and I just fell in love. Thanks, Appreciate y'all. Thanks, Tyler.